welcome to the Turning Hearts tutorial. I'm Dallas, I'll be your host today. Um, and today I'm going to teach you how to use the Family Search Wiki. And this is an awesome tool um, that Family Search has put out to help with your research. Um, and so I'll just show you a couple things um, that will help you narrow down your research. Also, it will help you see what you can actually find um, in different locations or different areas where your families are from. Um, so to find Family Search Wiki, you just go to the Family Search website and then you go under search and then wiki. And you click wiki and it'll pop up with this. And so you can either search on the left here um, by place or topic and then on the right you can click um, different parts of the world that you want to go to. Um, so like for me particularly, let's try Europe and we're going to go to Ireland. Um, that's what I'm researching right now. And we'll go there and then it'll pull up this kind of like wiki page you see on like Wikipedia um, and it shows you a whole bunch of different stuff here. Um, so on the right here um, it shows you the record types. So the different record types that Ireland has that you can search through. So cemetery, census, church, directories, church records, civil registration, um, all these different stuff and so civil registration for countries outside of America that's um, that's the vital records that's what you get and that's what you want to look for um, for birth death marriage things that things like that um, church records you can also find those those information in there as well um, and so here also just tells you a little bit of the history um, of Ireland and then down here um, like if you were in America, it would show you, if you click on a state, it would show you counties. Um, so it's kind of like that. So particularly we want to look in Cork County. That's where a lot of my, my ancestors are from. And so, and if you know where your, your, your ancestors are from, then you can look specifically in your county. Um, and it'll show you all the, again, all the records that are available in this specific county. It'll give you the background of Ireland, all these different things. Um... Let's see if we want. So let's try civil registration under this. So here on the left here, here's um kind of shows you when the civil registrations begin. So when the the county, um, I don't know if they do it by county or country uh, in Ireland, um, but when they started taking birth records, um, or they started taking record of marriages or deaths. And so this is kind of like your starting point um, of where a lot of your research is going to come from. And this is just helpful information to know um, that if you don't have like royalty in your, in your line, it's going to be hard to find information because they don't have a lot of um, information on the common man um, in these areas before this time. So this is the time that they started taking records. Um, and so that's, that's really important to know when you're searching. And so here's all the different things you can search. Like right here, Ireland births. You can search on family search. Ireland deaths, Ireland marriages, Ireland civil records. Um, also, you can do find my past. You can search all these different places from here. Um, it has different links for it. Um, say if you wanted to search for newspapers, you can go on here and you can it will give you information specifically in Ireland newspapers. Here's the Cork Examiner. That's probably um, the newspaper that my ancestors uh, looked at back in the day. You can also look up cemeteries, military records, all these different stuff. So it's really, really helpful um, just narrowing down your search and narrowing down what information you can actually find of your ancestors um, and at what point you should start looking. Um, because if I had ancestors that were born before 1864, like it said in the civil record, or civil registration, if they were before in 1864, we don't know if we for sure will have that records. Um, so specifically with the with the, the county, um, so we probably want to look in church records because churches were the ones that really took a good care of the records for the common man, um, and then and then the uh, the government basically took over and started taking really good records as well. So before that time, you probably want to look at church records. If it was before 1864 for your ancestors, um, you can go 
specifically Church of Ireland, Catholic Church, Jewish, Presbyterian, Methodist. So if you know what ans what your ancestors were, or what religion they were part of, you're able to narrow it down even more. Um, and so this is just really, really, really good information that you need um, to help you find your ancestors. And what's cool is it, it shows, it tells you when these um, these churches started, when they started taking records. So Methodist Society began in Dublin in 1746. So, you know, after 1746, you're able to find um, that information on your ancestors if you know that they're Methodist or if they're Quaker um, or if they're Presbyterian or if they're Jewish, all these different, different, uh, different religions that were basically kept the records um, before the government actually started. Like right here, you have 1619. You go all the way back to 1619, they have records for. Um, 1620, 1619, 1630, 1750. So it's just different um, different times. Let me just show you one more thing. For those that are doing um, stateside records and stateside ancestors that have rich uh, American ancestry um, you can go specifically the United States and what's cool is you can click on the state that you're from or that your ancestors are from that you know of um, so let's do Texas I have a lot of ancestors from Texas on my dad's side and what's cool is then you can go and you can click the county specifically so we had ancestors in Titus County and here we go and it gives you all this information that you can use um, to help narrow down your stuff and narrow down your research um, and this is also really cool in the United States it just gives you exactly when the birth record started when the the marriage record started when death records started I'm not sure why it's not showing any there maybe maybe they don't take death records anymore <laughs> um, when the census began when the land um, property ownership records began so all these different things that you can you can use to narrow down your research and know really how far back you can go because there's going to be a certain point where you don't have any more records left and so you can't go beyond that without you know speculating or without having royalty in your line because royalty kept really good records but the common man didn't and that's where a lot of us came from is just the common man just the the normal the normal American Joe um, frontier guy whatever he was and so they didn't have a lot of these records and so these are just the governmental records that they 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 kept but you can also like we said before uh, go to church records because those they were the ones that took the records before the government um, started keeping records the church was really good at taking records um, so that's where you want to look at as well and so you can look at a specific Texas church record um, wiki you can go here if they're Baptist you can contact the local churches there now that your ancestors may have gone to find records there uh, you can email them is probably the best way call them as well they can mail you stuff um, and so this is just a really awesome way um, to find your ancestors and to um, really narrow down where you should should focus your research on because there's going to be a point where you just don't have any records left, like I said before, and that you just need to um, start working your way back, working on the, the cousins or the brothers and sisters in your line, not just the direct line. Um, and so I hope this helps you guys figure out how to use Family Search Wiki. I hope you realize now that it is an awesome tool that you can use to find those those records, to find when you should start searching for those records and when those records actually became av available from the government um, and then also how you can find the the churches nowadays um, that your ancestors may have gone to that the records still are kept at um, for your ancestors um, and so I hope this helped you um, if you like this video and you want more of these these videos like subscribe um, share this with your friends and um, also give us suggestions on, on what else we can, we can help you with and what other videos we can make to help you do your research for your ancestries. Thank you so much for watching and, and I'm, hopeful, I'm glad we were able to help uh, you with your genealogy. Thank you. Have a good day.